What's going on, guys? We are wrapping up the work week. Thank God. This has been. Rain. Yeah, this has been a rough week. Tuesday we had thunderstorms and we had a tornado uh, come across. It never touched down, thank the Lord, but it uh, it came within two miles of our office shop. But uh, I did a short on that. Thank God it never touched down, but it did knock some trees down coming coming over. But anyway, what are we going to be doing today? Well, you're going to have to stick around to find out. Be sure and click the like button and subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate you clicking on the thumbnail and watching my video. If you would, please watch the video all the way through and do not skip the ads, please. If you need to go to the restroom, meet the, meet the ads and go do that or whatever else you need to do. But let them play. I appreciate it. Also, when you subscribe, please leave a comment on the video that you have subscribed from. That lets YouTube AI know that you are a real person and they don't subtract, they don't subs they don't subtract the subscription. I would appreciate that greatly also. My name is Brian and you're watching. Now, let's get into what we're going to be doing. Today is going to be a review day, a product review. I did a, a unboxing and I did an installation video on the Green Guard. And that's what we're going to be discussing today. I'm going to give you the pros and I'm going to give you the cons and I'm going to give you some information on what needs to be improved. Jeremiah, if you watch this video, you need these are some things that need to be um, need to be taken into consideration. Nothing bad, just some things from an end user in in the field that I think you you that you could improve on. So, anyway, I hope you guys stick around. So, what is the Green Guard? Well, it is a shoot blocker. For those of you that have never seen one, you see that hole, the discharge uh, discharge side of the deck? This is what it does. You open it back up like that. Now, the pros. First of all, I wish I had some material to show you, but we have mulched. You see all these pecan trees? Every one of these is pecan trees, except for those there. And they are full of leaves. Nate just told me there's some material over here. So let me walk over here and take a look. Or have you walk with me and take a look. Is it effective? As a mulch guard, if you look at that ground, I would say so. So, we're going to get back over there and we'll continue this video. There's Nate sitting in Clifford right there. He's uh He's had the hiccups. He's kind of he kind of tarred. All right, we're back at the mower. Now, I'm going to start from the switch. The only thing I don't like about this switch, this is not a pro or a con, this is just my personal opinion. It has got constant power on it, and it is connected. Let me, uh, let me pull the seat up, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Ugh, this seat is heavy. It is connected directly to the battery right there and there's the ground cable right there it does have a relay and it does have an inline fuse but you see the ignition is off that's on and that's off well you see it has constant power on it that to me there needs to be a switch put on this switch to turn the switch, turn the power from the switch to the green guard motor on and off. 
That's just my opinion. A lot of people might not see it that way. I do. The reason why is because if something were to happen at night and you not know it, it would drain the battery. But anyway, let me get to some pros. The pros are this thing is built extremely stout. This motor is very heavy and it is, um, they call it the heavy duty for a reason because that motor is very heavy duty. The wiring harness is, is made of quality materials. The fasteners are quality materials. I know it's covered in dirt, but the, uh, the fasteners are quality material. And I would have to say what I'm fixing to say now is a con, but it could be not a con. You'll understand what I mean in just a second. Jeremiah puts three zip ties in the packaging when you buy a green guard that is a pro the con side of that is there's only three and this booger i had to put on this machine i had to put 12. now did i have my own yes but when you buy a product and you pay that much money for it it should come with anything and everything you could possibly need there again that's a it's not a, a con it's not a pro, it's just an observation. Now, another pro. I like the way they've got the system uh, organized and, and designed to attach to the deck. These um, these grommets here, the pack, the, the kit came with about 9 to 12, I think, something like that. And that way, there's no possible configuration that you have to have to fasten it to your machine that you can achieve. So there you go. Now, this is gonna be a short review. It's not gonna be lengthy. You know, um, I know one thing that Nate mentioned one time is when we first installed this thing, you could just bunt this and it would barely open. And when I say barely, I mean like that. I mean. And every time you hit it, see how far it opened up that time? But we it, also closing it. See? Like that. But now it's gotten some use on it. It's gotten some hours on it. And now you bump the bottom. And see how it does? It falters. It doesn't stop. See that? Try it again. And I'm barely... See, it closed all the way that time. And I'm barely touching the button. I don't know what what makes it do that, but when we first put it on, it would literally boom, 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 like that, and you could close it to where it was like that. And now you barely touch it. Well, I just I'll show you. See, I barely touched it, and it's closed completely. Now, opening it up, feather it. See. It, yeah, it might be the weight of the plate that pulls it down, but let me let me talk about that. This is a aluminum plate. It's like an um, eighth inch thick, and it, I don't know. I think that's powder coating right there. I'm not sure, but you can see where it has worn off, and that's completely natural. There's nothing wrong with that. There's no dents, dings, or indentions in that plate whatsoever. And that is caused, it closes across this area here. And all that debris from these blades is hitting that plate. That's what's causing the powder coating to come off. But, now I'm going to go over some cons. The first con I see, and the main one to me, is when it's in the closed position and you're... Uh, mulching up material this thing has a tendency now it won't do it at all it has a tendency well it ain't doing it now Nate no come here and try to open it guys I swear to you before you, you could pull that thing open with your hand see if Nate can do it 
There it goes. See how it's doing? Do it again, Nate. See that? And when you get a heavy load under it, all the material is coming out from underneath the deck and it's not staying under. Now, I don't know where the play is, but I suspect it's in here. I have never opened this up. I have no idea what's even in here, but this should not, it should not do that. And I don't know what, what it is, but that, it should not do that. But anyway, the other pro I'm going to touch on is the price. Now, I had the Gravely steel bracket with the sliding handle. It worked with a back and forth like this. And look at this. You can see that mark right there on the gas tank? This is a gas tank. Matter of fact, here's the lid right here. Can you see the gas in there? No, you can't. Let's see. Yeah, it's almost bone dry. Well, this one over here ain't. I'm sure you can see the gas in this one. Oh yeah. See the gas down in there? Both of these are gas tanks. Well, I am going to be relocating this weed eater rack for the same reason. Look at this. And I don't want to get I don't I don't want to punch a hole in the gas tank. That's one of the reasons why I decided to go with the green guard. See that? That's one of the reasons why I decided to go to green guard because the gravely well the gravely one the handle was beating the gas tank to death. And I didn't want to knock a hole in it. So Buster with New Hope Cuts talked to me about this and told me it was a great p it was a great addition to any machine so i went with it now to get to the pro of it of the price to have the gravely shipped from wherever it had to come from i guess wisconsin to done and for me to go pick it up lock stock and barrel was going to be 575 dollars well the green guard after the the code that buster gave me and tax, shipping, and everything was just a hair over $400. Guys, that was a no-brainer. So, you know, it, that's why I decided to go with this. And now, do I like it? Absolutely. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. This, because this thing, I mean, you're riding along, you're going, you're fixing to go around a flower bed, and the touch of a button, your chute's covered. And you're not going to get debris in the flower bed or on the driveway or on the road. You're not going to hit cars with flying debris. And then when you go by it, you just hit the button and it opens all the way up. Or you can close it and open it up like that if you want to. It just, I mean, it's up to you. That is the Green Guard shoot blocker. What? What? It hits the motor. Oh, yeah. One thing that Nate pointed out to me here a while back that I didn't even realize. This thing has a rubber pad to keep this edge right here. You can see where it's hitting right there. It's already wore through. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to peel this off and I'm going to clean this real good with acetone or alcohol or whatever. And I'm going to cut me a piece of rubber to put out in there and then I'm going to put e6000 glue on it guys if y'all don't if y'all never used e6000 glue it'll glue a boat together i swear it's waterproof that's what i'm going to use but it's already wore through that piece of metal i mean that piece of rubber and now it's hitting the motor there and there it's hitting the motor there and the deck there but the deck is okay that motor is not i don't want it to rub through there but anyway well, guys, that's going to do it for this this uh, episode of uh, Big South Outdoors TV. There for a minute, I had a brain fart. I didn't remember the name of my own channel. Don't so, worry, that happened with me, too. Do what? Don't worry, that happened with me, too. One time I said brick, brick test with me. <laughs> but, it's, uh, it's been a stressful week, guys, with the weather. And now, this tonight, we're under a level two risk for tornadoes. In January... So, it is what it is. Guys, I hope you have a good weekend. 
I hope God blesses you richly. This is Brian with Big South Outdoors TV, reminding you to live big, live southern, and live outdoors. Until we meet again, folks, have a good one.